this evening after a police chase ended with a disturbing discovery. This chase started in Forney this morning, ending near the Kaufman Van Zandt County line. And that is when the questions piled up after a body was found. Channel 8's David Goins reports. Tonight, we know the driver of that car faces at least one charge for leading deputies on that chase here in Kaufman County. We expect more charges are likely after detectives found a body in the trunk of that car. Let's walk you through exactly what led us to this point. Male driver in a black Hyundai Sonata that shot at her vehicle, shattered the windshield. Kaufman County Sheriff's deputies responded to that call, an apparent road rage call in Forney, just before 1045. Did not take them long to find the vehicle headed east on I-20. Now, this chase did not last long, about 12 minutes, according to radio traffic we listened to, but it was incredibly dangerous. Deputies pursuing indicated the car traveled at speeds in excess of 110 miles an hour before the driver lost control. With the vehicle involved in hit and run, stay wrecked out in the median right before the way station. So the chase ended here along I-20 between Terrell and Canton. The driver was arrested without incident, but the investigation far from over. That's when deputies searched the vehicle and they discovered a body in the trunk. Now, tonight, Kaufman County investigators say they do not know who the body is, male or female, but it has been sent to the Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office for positive ID and a cause of death. As for the driver of the other vehicle who had their windshield shot, they were not injured. Again, Kaufman County investigators expect more charges in the morning. In Kaufman County, David Goins, Channel 8 News.